Alrighty, welcome back to another beautiful day in Hagenstad where, surprise surprise, it's another sunny day at that. And we've got a lot of our tractors just fluffing about right now because they went ahead and delivered all of the harvest. We sold it off, we've got about $330,000 left. So let's start this episode off with a bang by buying the Amazon Condor 15001 which both sows and cultivates at the same time with a working width of 15 meters. It does cost a fair, bit, fair amount per day but nothing we can't handle uh, so with that sewing machine we've got that so we'll go for some plows just one of that so the Pottinger Servo 6.5 which has a working width of 4.2 meters and that's it for the utensils or implements that we're going to be getting so let's just spawn them back over here fantastic now that we've got that it's time to go ahead and bring my quad track into things wherever it is there it is went ahead and bailed some things automatically for us okay so I've got a bit too many things everywhere so I'm gonna have to tab out a couple of vehicles and move them about so we'll go get our plow first I will go ahead and buy the fields that we want to buy this episode and this episode will pretty much consist of using our brand spanking new sewer as well as creating fields what ones are they? Fields 17, 18, and 19 as one. So that'll be one ginormous field, which would be really, really good for us because once we get potatoes and all that other stuff sown there, mate, we'll be making ridiculous amounts of money. But unfortunately, you can only plow manually, or create fields manually, that is. You can still plow fields using the AI. We've got to move this guy out of the way as well. You're pretty unnecessary for the time being, aren't you? You're just moving about. Okay, so let's go to the quad track. And the quad track's just going to use this. And this is pretty much made for the quad track itself. Or the, the other case tractor. Because of just how large it is. I don't think our small little red tractor would be able to carry this. And it's even got steps, this cellar. Look at it. That is crazy. Alright. Reversing. Oh, we just knocked it off. Ah, uh, no, we just knocked the little attachment to the side. So we're going to have to reverse this. Are you serious? Great demand of port for wheat. No. Okay. That sucks. I just went ahead and delivered the wheat just then. But I don't really need more money than we have right now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and slow down time. So, uh, so I can get to work nicely. So it won't be all patchy and all that stuff. There's our windrow. Hopefully it won't get in the way. Because this is a large trailer behind us. Uh, so let's unfold it. We want some barley because... I think barley sells for a really good amount now. Except we haven't been selling it for very much. And as you can see, I went ahead and sold a lot of my potato. It's only selling for about $662 a ton. Which is nothing. Now, hopefully we don't get stuck on the tree. Beautiful. Ooh. No, we have. Not so beautiful. You made it. You made it. Oh, beautiful. Let's hire the worker to do his own thing. I'll do this in no time. Okay, so while you're doing that, it's time to have some fun over here. Let's lower this. I do love the wheel. The wheel adds a little bit more to the, how the plow looks. Now we need to go ahead and unfold it. Okay, so it's on that side. Let's lift it back up. Because we need to get the perfect angle. That is rather important. Okay, so it's going on from that side. Okay, so let's start it. Let's drop the flower, press zero, so it can create a new field, and cruise control one, because that's the only speed they can go at. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Let's get rid of the PDA. The tractor's slowly leaning to the left, oh, to the right by itself. This must be the weight. 
so we've got to even our sewers back and you can only do this manually so we've thankfully we've got our sewer doing his own thing so it can be a little bit more productive also should move that header as well and I've got to start thinking about moving the trees legitimately now not just fluffing about as well with them because I did look at it although once I saved my field on my map the game crashed on me every single time now I need to press zero so stop creating the fields Again, off we go again. For round two. Should go a little bit more to the right. There. So we just need to do a couple of round trips and then we'll be all good. You don't want to be missing little bits and pieces, eh? So that's going to be a lot of hectares of just whatever crop we so choose. And I do want to start getting involved in some sugar beets because sugar beets are selling for a lot right now because we haven't really done anything with them so there's a great demand for them. In every other place in the game. I think we could do this manually, be a little bit quicker. There's a little grass patch, there it is. I'm gonna have to go over it. I'm sure it'll annoy me later on if I don't. If I just leave it there, I'm gonna have to move that header as well. Because it will get in the way. What I could do is get another tractor. That's what I should do. Okay, I'm gonna slow you down. And this guy is doing absolutely nothing. Absolute hogwash. So. I'll bring in a cultivator, uh, wherever it may be. Where is the cultivator? I think it's somewhere over here, isn't it? There it is. So it can be even more productive and just make sure none of our tractors are just laying about. We'll bring in a cultivator to start cultivating this field and then you can start cultivating the cloud section. And hopefully he'll realize both fields is one once we're done. That'll be really good. Well, that's when we start making the real money then we'll probably be getting like a million dollars every episode so we'll be able to get anything we so choose okay. and start beautiful oh you're stuck really that's sort of understandable. The windrow is quite annoying. Okay, so they leave the little sections of wheat that we left over, but that's okay. I wonder if the crop will actually grow over it or not. We'll have to wait and see though. I think you can just keep driving, can't you? And then you just keep continuing on. That's good. Okay, turn around. Well, let's just move the header out of the way. I know I don't own the field. I don't want it. I just want to move it. There we go. That worked. Okay, let's just lift the plow up so it doesn't fall off. Lower it back and off we go. Press zero to create fields. Okay. 
was doing quite well. I think we'll just make this little line of plowing a little bit shorter now so it's not as large because the road's going to start getting in the way as well. But it is kind of amusing to me that supposedly Hagenstadt is a town where there's lots of farmers but really we're the only ones even though there's other people buying the fields and stuff like that. So let's move about. Oh, I want to lower it, press zero. Okay, we're going to have to do the same thing over there. I think that section is a little bit larger between fields. But I'm not too sure on that. Don't quote me yet. Okay, let's get out of here and start buying these fields because we haven't done that yet and we need to. Just to make sure we get the perfect amount of field plowed. Buy this first, yes. Buy. Let's go over to, and buy the next one as well. Well, it seems like it's pretty much the same distance. Okay, so it won't take us too long. We'll just go ahead and just plow both of these things. Both of these dirt roads. Yes, purchase. Okay, we've got $54,000 left. Nothing to be scoffed at. We're doing a mighty fine job. So let's go back to the playing machine. What happened with you? Oh, you're still doing it. Wow, look how quick he's done that build. That's really good. Okay, and you're done. So, let's go. Alright, that's perfect. So, hopefully, our cultivator will do a good job of everything. Then we can go ahead and plant some more potatoes on all of our fields over here. Okay, you should stop. Lift it up, and we'll go over to this section now. What is up with these trees on the edges of the maps? Oh, guys, guys, guys. Yeah, we've got the hang of the how the plow works, so it'll be a lot quicker this section. But apart from what's going on, uh, we've, I'll also try to upload a episode today of Euro Truck Simulator. I haven't not done that for a long, long time, but the latest patch has come out, so that gave me some motivation to play it again. The patch is actually quite nice as well. SCS definitely know how to... They have good customer support, let's just say that. They definitely know how to take care of all the fans that complain about the game. And they actually really do care. They're one of the best companies out there. And it's good that they're independent. Even though they might be struggling sometimes, financially, especially in this climate. But they definitely do a good job and they deserve all the credit that they get. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to swing this around. Probably not the best way of plowing things, but it saves us a little bit of time. I love this hill. The undulating hills of the map. So 
Like you can see from the perfect angle, you can see your tractor and then it magically disappears. It's really cool. It's like how it would look like in real life. So let's spin back around. What am I doing? I'm just leaving this little section there. That would work. We'll come back and fix all of this that we've missed out. Okay, well these guys are almost done so I'm just gonna tab out of you um, uh, cultivators doing a good job how is our solar going it should be done yep and here's okay let's chuck a left try not to get stuck because it is a rear wheel drive it's a little bit different than anything else we've had now we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way which sucks but oh wait we just did the comp no we did we did the right vehicles as yeah, so the only thing is this is extremely large and it's really good on the much much bigger fields Watch that, because now we're gonna get all these cedars knocked off we're gonna have to fold this up, aren't we, just to get through? Oh, that's disastrous. Okay, how do we fold it? Press X. So, like, it's like a Venus flytrap, how it closes almost. It's like all the green. Yeah, so. Let's start unfolding again. It does take a sweet time in unfolding, so. And off we go. Back to plowing. perfect line almost getting everything and we should stop it right about now go over some of these sections that we've missed out yeah, so our cultivator should be coming in any time now I just want to see if our plan worked out we should be able to have all these fields together there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Okay. Just drive a little quicker into this section. Alrighty, well that was all done, might not have been the most exciting thing, but at least you guys could see that again, because we haven't done that in quite a while. Uh, so, wait, what did I disattach? Oh wait, did it fall off then or something? It must have. Uh, so let's lift it back up. Oh wait, it was already lifted back up. We want to fold the power. Okay. 
Oh, that's done. Very well. Really can't complain. Uh, should we do these little sections? Ah, oh, let's leave it. So I'll go ahead and get some potatoes. So with potatoes... Should we go for potatoes here? That is why I'm cultivating, I guess. Oh, probably not the best part to get rid of our implement scissor here. I'll just move them along. Go. Okay. And get the potato harvester. And we'll start doing some potato harvesting. Or oh, potato planting, sorry. So can, we can have an even more shit ton of potatoes. Uh, so, next episode. I don't think this episode will be going for too much longer. I'll try to keep it in about half an hour. I do apologize for the way I uploaded uh, yesterday. Because my uh, internet has been quite shocking over the last couple of days. So that's why the videos were up a little bit later. Uh, maybe this one will be up as just as late as the other ones. So hopefully it won't be, but you never know. Uh, we want to get us, get potatoes, hire a worker. You're very good, you're all doing your own thing. Okay, and you're all done. Very good. Let's fold this back up. I guess it's just time to wait now. If only this could plant potatoes as well. That would be a real time saver. Make it, maybe I could do a bit of half and half and do a little bit of potato and then the rest I'll do, say, barley again. Because we've yeah, we're getting really crappy prices for potatoes right now. $693 a ton. Where usually it's at about almost 800 in the high 800s to low 900s. So it's definitely not at that stage just yet. Let's move this implement. The header. See, this is the section of field that this soul is really made for. Just large open spaces. Where you know nothing's really going to get in the way. Apart from those pesky trees. Okay, how is our harvester doing? Oh, what about harvester? Why do I keep on saying harvester? Our potato guy is doing a good job. He's wasting a lot of our money. In the meantime, I also have another mod. If we go, um, you know what? Let's go bring this guy over here. Let's tap to him. There you are. Okay. So the other mod that I have installed right now is called the, I already forget the name. The floodlight mod, yes. So they are placeable and they are turned on and off by motion. So that's kind of neat because like the storyline behind it goes is that it's uh, energy efficient. So let's go ahead and place it right over here, I think, or over here. Over here, I think is perfect. Let's just keep the chickens awake. Even though they do go to sleep at night. Let's keep the chickens awake with the floodlight. Uh, let's go back. We're gonna have to wait until night time and I don't think that's gonna come this episode. What else have I been doing? I've been neglecting my sheep and cows all this time, as well as my chickens, but they don't really need food. Um, my cultivator's doing a good job. We'll start this pretty soon. We're doing another row. It does this so quickly. I gotta start thinking about fertilizing, shouldn't I? Now, where do I have another one of my tractors? I think this is the only tractor that I could really use right now, unfortunately. So let's go looking for our fertilizing machine. Let me be quickest if I just do it like this. Definitely not there. No, it's not there. Let's go for a drive. How's that sound? Oh, this is over here and I'm completely missing it, but uh, yeah, no, it doesn't seem like it's here. Oh, there's Windrot. 
There's a good old fashioned old fertilizer. Which we don't need at all. It's just they're picking up dust and spider webs and whatever you get on the farm when you leave things all alone for a long time. So our fertilizer must be over here then. I wouldn't be surpri surprised if it were. There it is. But what I'm the most keen on is just to check out how if the AI actually does recognize the plowed section. It should. There's no reason it shouldn't, but you never know. Yeah, I think they're doing a good job. Yep. Okay, so back with the fertilizer. This shouldn't be lopsided at all because this is, after all, a trailer. Okay. I'll go ahead and do the other two fields first. The ones with barley. Try first person mode. Have a nice look at the scenery. You gotta love the speedometer. Doesn't show you how fast you drive at all. Let's honk a little bit. At least that's a bit more of a manly honk than the some of the trucks in the Euro Truck Simulator. Some of them are ridiculously feminine. Okay, so let's unfold this sprayer. Oh no, I don't want to start spraying, I want to unfold it. Okay, that'll be perfect. In the meantime, I want to check on what you're doing. Oh really, you stopped. Okay. That sucks. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix this area up, won't I? I definitely will have to. Let's hire a worker now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change a little bit, won't I? Hmm. Alright, well. Oh, that's painful. He's still, he's still plugging along. He's, he's, he knows what he wants to do. He knows what he wants to do, and he's doing it. He's doing it. No, he's stuck. Okay, so let's unhire the worker and fold this up. And he's going to fold it into the trees, and he. Let's just keep reversing. Beautiful. And time to unfold it again. Just drive a little bit in the parts. There we go. Off we go. Oh, it's good because with this guy we can go the maximum speed and he's still not going to go too fast for the fertilizer. Like he only just goes too fast. Like he's struggling. So that's okay. That's actually the perfect track for them. Oh, it's going kind of too fast for him. Yeah. But he's almost perfect. It just does take his sweet time. Alright, so what I'll do is we'll be back with both fields probably all harvested and we'll be with some new crop. I'll probably harvest that as well so I'll have a little bit more money so I can spend on some other stuff. But until then guys, hopefully you have, are enjoying the series continuously as I try my best to please you guys with all the new vehicles and toys in the game. I'm most definitely enjoying it. And uh, yeah, expect a Euro Truck Simulator video soon after this as well. So, see you later, guys.